just found out that a YouTuber named James Alsup has been suspended from YouTube with no explanation, with no copyright strikes, no no flags, no nothing. And I've and and the Economist has been has been has, has his YouTube ch- YouTube channel deleted with no explanation either. Where the world. Had, the way of the world's YouTube channel, YouTube main YouTube channel has also been deleted, but his secondary one is still up. And there is this guy who has also been censored on Instagram, who who, who also tried to expose Instagram um, by uh, going to Instagram Studios and, and trying to ask questions on why people are, are censored conservatives, and, and everyone was speechless, and he was kicked out. And there is this guy named New World Patriots who had his main account censored because he was exposing some some stuff and he has another another uh, a second account so so go follow him on instagram if you want this censorship needs to stop okay you, you youtube needs to stop acting like a publisher and start acting like a platform they don't they shouldn't dictate what what video what videos we should see what what videos we shouldn't see when it comes to politics they they have every right to say whatever they want. They have every right to call out somebody without being silenced for it. And you have silenced one of my favorite YouTubers, James. All James also has a, has a family. He has a kid, a wife, and, and you have just took took away his best source of source of income. You took away part, part of his part of his you took away part of his livelihood. Seriously, what's what, what's next? Are are, are going to do are going to do the same thing to me? If you try to censor me and delete my channel without without warning, I'm going to be really distraught. This behavior just needs to stop. The, 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 the censorship towards conservatives is a real problem. First, they suspend Sargon of Khan's campaign account before he lost. Then he censored Paul Joseph Watson, Ashton Birdie, Milo Yiannopoulos from Instagram... Why? Yeah, go ahead and share, go ahead and share my life. What did we ever? What did, what did conservatives ever do to you? Yeah, I'm pretty sure conservatives have done some damage in the past, but this that was then. This is now. You leftists leftists are ruining everything. You are trying to dictate what we should what we should say and what we shouldn't say, what we should post, and what we shouldn't post. Th- this needs to stop, okay? I can't tolerate the censorship towards conservatives. It's really annoying. James Alsop deserved better than this. There's a guy named Paul who got banned from Instagram, and he can't get on Instagram anymore, and he deserves better than that too. And I, James James Alsop has also been censored on Twitter and I and Twitter and Instagram, I think. And I'm sick and tired of it. It's sad that conservatives are too afraid to speak up, and and I wish they did. And if they did, I'm I'm proud of you. And if you're not, then I don't know what to tell you. Why is this happening? What? Why is the left so desperate to shun conservative, centrist, libertarian ideas? Why is Instagram and Twitter doing this? This is gonna. Why? Because you hate what, because you're, because when you rip out someone's tongue, you, I don't know. This is a quote from High Impact Flicks slash High Impact Vlogs. Go su- subscribe, subscribe to his, I, so, go subscribe to his channels if you want. He says this, when you, when you rip out someone's tongue, you're not proving them a liar. You're showing the whole world that you're afraid of what they might say, what they might say. You're, you're, you're afraid of. You, you, you just lost the argument the minute you, you censored them. And this cannot go on. Imagine if they censored all conservatives and all we get are leftists con- indoctrinating every single person out there. I... And, and, and I also... Uh, I also... I, I also agree... I also I also like James Alsop call, James Alsop, Alsop calling calling out the left and the right when necessary and 
and I appreciate him def uh, speaking out against both sides, and now he's censored for it anyway. Look, I'm not here. I'm not. I'm sorry, but I'm. I'm not. I'm not video chatting with anybody right now. I'm just. I'm just. I'm just getting them. I'm just getting. I'm just getting the message out. Nothing personal, guys. I just don't feel like talking to anybody right now. But I'm just. I'm just getting the message out. You can. You can. You can share this live stream if you want. We just need to raise awareness that 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 another conservative from Instagram has been silenced by an, by leftists. With no explanation, there was no warning, no nothing. They didn't explain what what what, what did he say? What what he said? It's really ridiculous. It's just really bad. They're not these leftists. A lot of them, not all of them, just just a majority of them. Of what I've noticed, they're not fighting for free speech. They're not fighting for rights. They're fighting for the right to be a bunch of hypersensitive snowflake snowflake individuals and not hear opinions that that don't align with their agenda. And it's really sad. That this is what that this is the reality that we live in, and I miss James Allsop. I've seen a lot of his videos on my playlist, and it worked really hard on those playlists. And 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 if all the common sense videos have been removed, all we get is leftist propaganda videos. One way or no way, one 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 law, one religion, one ideology. We shouldn't have that. It's it this it's really annoying. They're going to censor every conservative out there, and we're living in a nightmare dystopia. Even Tim Pool has acknowledged this. Not acknowledged this, and he's center left. He's called out both sides too. He knows that the left are insane, and they just pisses me off. Next thing, next thing I know, they're going to they're going to censor many YouTube YouTube chat YouTubers from the fandom menace. Like D-Day Cobra, or that Star Wars girl, or or Owen's movie, movie blog, they, they better not censor them. They're, they're awesome YouTubers, and if and if I haven't saw those YouTubers, I, I would have been brain, brain brainwashed to all this leftist propaganda woke culture stuff in the Star in Disney Star Wars right now. I would label, label them all as racist, sexist, homophobic, and all that stuff. I don't believe any of that, and I'm glad I found them, and I and I'm glad that I found James Allsop into this. I'm glad I found James Alsop last year, and without him, and and without and he's not, and without him and many other YouTubers, I wouldn't be an I wouldn't be an atheist conservative with autism. I would still be watching NBC News. I, I'd still be brainwashed to fake news, mainstream communist news network that wants to brainwash the brainwash the group of masses and all that stuff. They want to control what you think. They want to control your. They want to control your thoughts. They want. They want to dictate what, what you should think, what you should say, what, what you should, what, what, your, what your opinion should be, and they want to destroy free free thought. James also was a free thought YouTuber, and they hate him for it. And now he's gone. He he made videos addressing this. He knew he, he was going to be, be be gone from YouTube, and now he's gone. And I miss him already. And I wish they didn't censor him. And I and I hope Hunter Avalon got his. Channel suspended for a while, but but he, but he, but he managed to, to get it back. He fought back and won. I hope James Allsop does the same thing. I hope James Allsop fights fights for his YouTube channel back. I really want to see his videos again, and I miss him dearly. I'm tired of this. when is this? This is that's depressing. There, conservatives are the real oppressed right now. It's not the minor. It's not the. It's not the left minorities that, that they're saying. Conservatives are being targeted for their beliefs, for their opinions, and we're the real oppressed ones. Conservatives are the real victims here. They are the victims of leftist hate. And I, I wish, I, I wish that this isn't the case. To be honest, I don't think most autists are really politically active. Sadly. Yeah, I, I wish there was more activism to call out the left against conservatives. I, I wish more people with autism spe stepped up, yes. That's good. Go ahead and talk to him if you want. Go ahead, Boomer. You're good. The left is a problem. The majority of them. They're intolerant. They're Marxists. They're communists. They support communism. They hate America. A lot of them do. They hate our flag. I don't really care if they hate America or the flag. I just don't want them using that as an, as an excuse to silence us 
just just to justify that. There's no balance anymore. There needs to be people who hate America and, and those who love it. There are people out there who have every right to say what they want, liberal or conservative, without censoring each other. Where do we draw the line here? I'm telling you, this this, this needs to stop. I've been saying that a lot. They don't really care. They don't really care about us. The left are racist towards white people, sexist towards men, and home, and heterophobic towards straight people. I know heterophobic is a new word. I, I mean, I just made it up, and and they think that oh, that minorities can't be racist. Bullshit. There's no oppression in this country. The real oppression is the big government versus the masses. Exactly. They they they, they want to keep us in keep us in their control, and we can't let that happen. You guys, if you guys can't step up, that's your problem. But but if but if you're willing to step up, be brave, and show the left that that enough is enough, go for it. James also is one of, is one of many casualties censored by the left. Ashton Burry, Paul Joseph Watson, Miley Annopoulos on Instagram, and now Hunter has been also been banned on Twitter months ago. That's that's a shame. He didn't fight for his Twitter account back. I'm mixed race conservative with autism. That's fine. And we need to fight back against the left. They can't divide us. They can't censor us. And they can't police us. They can't belittle us. They can't berate us. We can't let this go on. Who's next? Sargon Vakad? Amazing atheist? He's left-leaning, and he's called out censorship against both sides. He's called out feminism. He's called out Trump. He's called out many conservatives and liberals. He's somewhat in the middle, in, in, in my opinion. And, and without amazing, the amazing atheist, I wouldn't be an, an electric pagan centrist to conservative atheists. I would have found more conservative centrist libertarian YouTubers. Like Young Ripper 59, D-Day Cobra, That Star Wars Girl, Prince of Queens, Sinatra, Sinatra Says, and Sinatra Says has his entire channel demonetized because because of that Fox journalist guy who was trying to bash Steve Crowder, and that's kind of unfortunate. You know, I, I just wish that one day, don't be fooled by the fact that I, I am high-functioning. I suffered hostility and brutality here for, oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm Instagram. I'm planning on sharing this on YouTube if, if I'm able to get it on there. Um, just so let everyone know what's going on. Like, I'll, I'll put the title, James Alsop has been censored. James Alsop, if, 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 you, if, you, if, you're, if, you're, if you're seeing this, I'm, I'm ho I hope you get your channel back. I don't want to go on BitChute. I'd rather be on YouTube. I'd rather be on YouTube because I like YouTube. And I and I wish that that and and I wish that YouTube YouTube stops acting like a, like a publisher and starts acting like a platform to let everyone in. This country is 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 known for a marketplace marketplace for ideas. We need that back. We need those conservative ideas. Without without this. Without without the left trying to destroy, destroy that, so they can push their own agenda. Agenda. It, it, this has to end, right now. That's why I founded the Autism Conservative Movement, because many people with with autism have have been infected by the left, acting like like there's such a thing as neurotypical privilege. They can't handle certain, uh, can't handle the word retard and all that. They believe in this person first campaign, which I don't I don't agree on. It's just really bad. And I'm sick and tired of it. They, they, a lot of people with autism treat it treat it as it as if if it's if it's some some, some sort of identity. It's not. It's, it's a mental illness, it's a dis, it's a disability, a neurological disorder a neurological disorder. And I don't I'm I'm I, I changed the subject a little bit, I'm sorry. I'm telling you, man, censorship is a real problem. And the only people people that are oppressed are straight white men. And that needs this this oppression from the left has to end right now. And we need, need to fight. Even even if you fight from the sidelines. You don't have to fight in public. You can fight from the sidelines and social media, that's easier.